Hello everyone, welcome to this amazing video where we're going to tell you what to not spend your time on as a game dev. Of course, we have very little time in our lives and we have a lot of work to do as an indie game developer. So these are seven things that you shouldn't spend too much time on. The first thing we are going to cover is don't spend too much time theory crafting IDs. Of course, you can theory craft a bit, but be sure to always implement your IDs as soon as possible in an engine because it gives you feedback and oftentimes a game sounds good, but doesn't feel good to play, which is very important. Game feel is one of the most important things in a game. And if you want to know more about that, we also have a video, cover, a video covering that one on the channel. So be sure to check it out. The second thing you shouldn't do is try to spend too much time on clean and efficient code. Of course, it is important. I'm not going to go in an argument with that one, but be sure if it's worth the effort. There is a programming concept called Yagni, which is you ain't going to need it. So of course you can program very complex code that is very uh, flexible and maybe someday you will use it to the full extent, but for now, just make clean code that is very simple and easy to maintain. This is definitely something that Forge Industry, our own game, has suffered from. And our, for example, our item system has been very complex and probably way over-engineered. But hey, it works, right? The third thing is don't fix bugs the moment they appear. It is very easy to get sidetracked when you're playing your game and notice this one stupid bug that is annoying you, but you're now focusing on another mechanic, for example then, well, you shouldn't do it right now. This is something very common and it is easy to lose your focus because of it. Your mind is a very hard task to always do the context switching. So to work more efficiently, just write them down, use a Trello board or a GitLab or whatever, and just do it another time. Personally, I would recommend to get a little bit of a backlog of bugs. Okay, it's not perfect when you're playtesting your game, but it's always very satisfying when you can work a bunch of bugs at the same time. And a lot of the times bugs might even be related. So, you know, two birds, one stone. The fourth thing is don't make your own engine. It is very clear. Okay, it's very cool. I'll admit that one, but it's a lot of work and you can get start a lot more quickly when you just use an engine like Unity, Unreal, Godot, things like that. Before you implement your uh, game engine, think to yourself, do you really need to do that? Because products like Unity, Unreal and Godot, like I said, they are very extensible and lend, lend themselves to a whole bunch of games. So do think to yourself, is it really needed that you implement your own engine? Because it's a lot of work and you want your feedback loop to be as short as possible. Number five, don't try to make everything yourself. I'm talking about art, music, trailers, UI, models, things like that. Everything, basically. If you're a one-man army, it is very hard to do everything. But, of course, I do not recommend you to just asset flip. That's a no-go. So what do you do instead? Find people that in your circle that want to play this for you, for example. Maybe a bunch of friends think you're making something cool and they can help you with that. Or if you really want someone else to make it because you're, for example, not good at uh, making UI or models, just go on Fiverr, find someone to help you out with it, or try to grow your team. Find like-minded developers that have the same passion as you and want to work on the same project. Be sure you also pick a game that suits your needs. And if you are, for example, very bad at art, focus on your mechanics first. Mechanics are way more important than art, at least in my opinion. And down the road, you can always find someone to do your art for you and stuff like that. Number six is don't keep spending time on your game when you actually want to sleep. This is basically, everyone knows about it, there is crunch in game dev. Do not do that. Why? When you are tired, well, it is very hard to work efficiently. You will spend a lot more time on it and things like that. But of course, there are now people already writing in the comment section, but I only have time at night. I mean, that might be possible, but... So instead of doing it in the evening or at the night, try to maybe wake up a little bit earlier or things like that. Find ways that when you are energized that you can work on your game. And last but not least, and I think we said this before, but it's a very controversial one, is don't spend too much time on a dead project. What do I mean by that? Don't just abandon anything you're doing right now. Think about it. If there is a game that you thought would be amazing, you started implementing it and, well, the game feel wasn't right. Something I mentioned earlier. But, oh, maybe if I tweak it a bit, but still wrong. Maybe if I tweak this, still wrong. Well, just give it. It is very easy to get blindsided by your passion for the game 
So if you see it's not working out, set your emotions aside and reconsider if it's actually worth it. So to summarize, don't spend too much time TA crafting your ideas. Don't focus too much time trying to write clean and efficient code. Don't fix bugs the moment they appear. Don't make your own game engine. Don't try to make everything yourself. Don't keep working on your game when you want to sleep and don't spend time on a dead project. That's the very brief summary of it. So I hope you enjoyed. Even more, I hope you learned something and it was helpful to you guys. If this is the kind of content you like, there's a lot more like this on the channel. You can check it out on our channel page. You can also subscribe, like, give us a comment, tell us what you thought. If you have some own things you think that we shouldn't spend too much time on, let us know. And I hope to catch you guys in the next one.